All right, we're going to take a look at a couple of verses here from the New Testament. This video is going to be about the Sabbath. I'm going to show you in this video how the Sabbath day was kept even after the events of the cross. And we know that the Sabbath was kept before that. So let's take a look at Mark chapter 6 and verse 2. Here we read that the Sabbath day was come and Mashiach began to teach in the synagogue and many heard him. See that? So the Messiah or Mashiach was keeping the Sabbath. Let's take a look at the next verse. All right, this is Luke chapter 4 and verse 16. It says that when he, Yeshua Emmanuel, came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up to read. Read what? The scriptures. So, as was his manner... See, he kept the Sabbath. Let's go to the next verse. Now we're going to head over to the book of Acts. Acts chapter 17, verse 2. It says that the Apostle Paul, as was his custom, just like we read, same thing Jesus did. As Jesus' custom was, so was Paul. He went to the synagogue for service for three Sabbaths. He used the scriptures to reason with the people. Unfortunately, there's just no reasoning with some. There are some people that like to say, Oh, Paul was a false apostle. He, he, he didn't keep the law. You fool. How can you say that? Haven't you read this verse? He kept the Sabbath. It says here. That was his custom, just like Jesus. So the leader of the Gentiles, as far as ministry goes, was Paul, and he kept the Sabbath. The leader of the lost sheep of the house of Yahshua, who was Yahshua, Emmanuel, he kept the Sabbath too. So both of them. So don't listen to these wolves that say that Paul was a, a false apostle, he was speaking against the law. No, he upheld the fourth commandment. Remember the Sabbath. And keep it holy. Next verse. Acts chapter 13 and verse 14. Paul and the homeboy Barnabas traveled inland to Antioch. And on the Sabbath day, here we go again. They kept the Sabbath, both of them. They went to the synagogue for services. You see? So I don't understand why people argue against Paul or those that say we're not supposed to keep the Sabbath Acts chapter 16 verse 13 on the Sabbath day they went a little way outside the city to a river bank where they thought people would be meeting for prayer prayer was part of the Sabbath and they sat down to speak with some women who had gathered there so you see even some of the sisters were keeping the Sabbath So, all the people were keeping the Sabbath as well. Next verse. Acts chapter 13, verse 44. And the next Sabbath day came almost the whole city together to hear the word of Yah. So, almost the whole city came together on the Sabbath day. So that was a lot of people keeping the Sabbath. Okay, now here it is. I'm going to give it to you. Are you ready? This here is going to prove without any doubt that the apostles and the saints kept the Sabbath even after Mashiach had died and risen. Luke chapter 23, verses 54 to 56. It says here that it was preparation day and the Sabbath was about to begin. 
the women who had come with Jesus from Galilee followed Joseph and saw the tomb and how his body was laid in it. You see? So this is after Mashiach had died and risen. All right, next verse says that then they went home and prepared spices and perfumes. So they were getting ready because the Sabbath was about to begin. So they were preparing all these spices and perfumes, etc. But they rested on the Sabbath day in obedience to the commandments. So bang, there it is. They kept the Sabbath. You see that? They kept the Sabbath after the events of the cross. So much for uh, the law and the Sabbath being nailed to the cross, huh? That is a lie. But most people, they skip over these verses. They don't pay attention. They think they're just there just because, right? To make the story longer? No. And also, what we read in the book of Acts, those verses from the book of Acts, that happened after Mashiach had died and risen too. So Paul was keeping the Sabbath after Mashiach had died and risen. Just as these people were reading about here in this, these verses, they were keeping the Sabbath too. After he had died, Joseph, Mary, all of them. So yeah, it was not nailed to the cross. It was not done away with. So in closing, I leave you with this. these next couple of verses from Matthew. Chapter 5, verses 17 through 19, it says, Don't misunderstand why I have come. This is Mashiach speaking. I did not come to abolish the law of Moses or the writings of the prophets. No, I came to accomplish their purpose. I tell you the truth, until heaven and earth disappear, and we know heaven and earth are still here, not even the smallest detail of my law will disappear until its purpose is achieved. So if you ignore the least commandment and teach others to do the same, as most do, you will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But anyone who obeys my laws and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. So for all those that are saying that you're not to keep the Sabbath and it was done away with, blah, 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 no, it wasn't. So there it is. No arguing about it. So I just wanted to share this because there are people that, like I said, think that keeping the Sabbath is optional. No, it's not. All right? So get familiar with these verses. You know? They kept the Sabbath after Mashiach had died and risen, as it says here, Luke 23, 54, 56. And the verses we read from the book of Acts also happened after the events of the cross. And no, Paul was not abusing the law. He kept it. It's these wolves in sheep's clothing that like to bash Paul because he got some good stuff in his epistles. You know, so yes, the Gentiles will be grafted in as well. But these wolves want to exclude the Gentiles. So... They're playing the numbers game, but don't listen to them. Anyways, that's all I got for this video. I hope it was informative. You know, much love. Stay blessed. Stay vigilant. Stay active in the faith. And until next time, shalom.